Carol O'Foury. Weekdays, 9 a.m. till 12. East Coast Radio. All right, if you're just joining us, welcome. What impeccable timing you have. Uh, every Wednesday on the show, we have a feature called Woman Crush Wednesday. And it's where we celebrate women that are trailblazing and doing amazing things in different industries across the board, just doing phenomenal things. Uh, and I love this feature. We've run it for the whole year. A lot of people are like, ah, oh, why ladies? Why ladies? And I always say, if women can win the most disenfranchised group, if they win... You as a man, you as another woman, it's just so inspirational when somebody else who shouldn't do as well as they're doing is doing well. It just inspires everybody else. So that is why we have it. And we celebrate different women in diff- from different walks of life. And I'm so excited because today's the final one. And what a way to go out. We're talking food. We're talking vibes. Uh, she is a trailblazer, a KZN top businesswoman, um, as well as a multi-award winning chef. Jackie Cameron is the founder and owner of the Jackie Cameron School of food and wine she's also the designer of the jc chef clothing range and an author of a best-selling recipe book now jackie's talents are hard work and hard work have taken her all over the world um and of course her school has brought her in touch with so many young people across the board and i believe it's open season uh with her taking in more students for the 2024 year so welcome to you jackie cameron how are you Ah, oh, so well so fantastic to be here thank you so much for having me yeah it's so exciting i think the timing of having you here is so perfect because everybody's talking christmas menus <laughs> <laughs> and food and this time of the year is all, all about food yes, all and about wine. food food and wine there we go i guess I guess for someone who's never uh, encountered your brand, never been a part of your brand, mm. tell us about the the Jackie Cameron brand. How did you get into um, cooking and becoming a chef? Mm. And now you are a school, accredited yeah. school. There we go. So everything happened around the kitchen dining room table um, when we were growing up. Natural progression that after after school I went to chefing school for a year, intense course. Got into the industry. I just wanted to start earning my own money and be independent. Right and went into the industry, was a chef um, in those days at Hartford House for nearly 12 years. Right. And I think it was about year two that I knew that I wanted to have a chef school. You know, it, it was always fantastic about putting these beautiful plates of food out. And I got, I got enjoyment, obviously, naturally from that. But right. seeing the development in my staff, and I'm going to give away my age now, with, with the <laughs> Senate 6 and Senate 7, Senate 8 education, and now they were making hand-tempered chocolates and truffles and Turkish delights and doing right. really fantastic things. That's what got me out of bed, was right. seeing education, seeing development, seeing growth. And that's why the the school was born and that and I cannot believe it next year I'm going into my 10th year of my school wow like it's just flown by I cannot believe and yeah it's just really really exciting yeah. so that's yeah that's Jackie Cameron School of Food and Wine I love that now tell us about the clothing range I know that the JC range uh, chef clothing is special yeah. tell, tell us about that so that also came about so remember now year two um, working as a chef I knew I wanted to have my, my chef school mm. and why am I going to be purchasing chef jackets so it came into having all those conversations and from a young girl we used to go to restaurants and my, my mom and I would sit around, our whole family would sit around the, the table and be like, why are the waitresses wearing those uniforms? Like it does right. absolutely nothing for them. So with it, when it was getting into the chef industry, and a lot has changed in the yeah. last 10 years, there are beautiful chef jackets and uniforms and that available now. But for me back then, because I started the, yeah, it was 15, you know, many years ago with my uniforms. And it was just like, we want to look presentable. Chefs are no longer back in, in, in the kitchens. They're actually spending quite a, a hell of a lot of time with guests. Right. And guests want to speak and people are so foodie and so interested and excited you've got to be presentable mm. and so that was um, the, 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 it was initially the female chef range and now also with my with my students I've developed a male um, chef range as well and it's interchangeable the guys wear the girls jackets the girls wear the guys jackets you know um, depending on on what jackets they prefer so, so the one really you're wearing now is that one of yours yes yes that ah, is yeah, yeah okay no definitely I only wear mine <laughs> <laughs> so Food is a, clearly a passion. Mm. Uh, a lot of people say that food, you know, um, is, is is one way of telling a story. It's it's a it's a mm. symbol of love. It's it's all these beautiful things that you know people say about food. Would you say that that's that that's how you would depict <clears throat> it? Is is it something that really is the soul? The you know, yeah. For me, mm. food is 
about memories. Mm. So when when I you know when I'm creating flavors and flavor profiles, it's where does that dish take me? Um, and a lot I, I remember, and it's it's a dish that's been by my side for a while. But we always we we're in December, we're in Christmas, we're in holidays. We've got a beach cottage in Pellington, and every single holiday is not holiday. We can go anywhere in the world, but holiday is not holiday if we do not go on the south coast to Pellington because that is holiday for us. Right. And we always first thing we would do is go out and harvest mussels. And so I had a dish, or have a dish that's a little mussel soup dish that I've been doing for many years, and people still request it these days. And it's a little smoky mussel dish, and it really does the little plate bowl that comes to you. It looks like. I say the ocean floor, but it's more like a rock pool kind of oh, floor, okay. and it appears like that. And so it's yeah, for me, it's all about memories. It's um, and a lot of the food that I create is childhood memories. Um, oh. You know, such great memories that we kind of rekindle on plates. And I think everything. It's not just about placing food on a plate. There's got to be a reason for it. Mm. And for me, that that emotional side comes out. Right. Um, yeah. So when you talk about Christmas, also, it's yeah, we have Christmas at home. And it's yeah, it's delicious. It's uh, yeah, it's very <laughs> traditional. And it's yeah, it's uh, you, you cannot you cannot eat through that, and not even a day, in two days, and three days. There's just so right. so much <laughs> so much on the table. So, what would you say is Jackie Cameron's favorite thing to make? <gasps> I'm so curious. I mean, as a whole chef, you there know, must be so much. No, there, you know, and I think that's what I'm lucky because I do enjoy at all mm. I'm not like I've worked with some chefs that are very specific I only like main course you know I prefer doing main course or does I really enjoy cooking at all so mm. it really just depends on the mood that I'm feeling um, and I have been doing because I've got a three year old uh, Jasmine I have been doing a lot more baking okay <laughs> um, just because you know I think more of the mixture gets eaten um, her hand <laughs> she's still three so it's not like the fingertip that goes in it's like the whole, the whole it's a whole like hand <laughs> dig <laughs> right um, that and then a lick yeah <laughs> the only the only way that that, that uh, as as I did when I was her age, but um, yeah, so I, I I really do love it all. I, I could not. It's like also if you have a few children, how do you how do you pick and choose? Your favorite child, you can't possibly. So right. it's like asking me, what is my favorite dish? <laughs> yeah, I can't possibly do that. I love them all. I love them all. Oh, yeah. Well, we're hanging out with Jackie Cameron, everybody, Chef Ka- uh, Jackie Cameron. We're going to talk about the school, the intake for students. I mean, mm. it's the time of the year where a lot of young people are like, mm, I wonder what I want to do. I actually want to get into cooking. I want to get into this. I want to get into that. We're going to talk about that. Thank you. And then also in the in the in the next segment, um, we love this ele- element. I mean, you're a businesswoman. Business has ups, downs, challenges, good times, bad times. The year itself may have brought some great things some bad things how you've navigated it and we just want that words of inspiration mm. you know to get into 2023 on a high that i can do it you know <laughs> so we're going to get that from you as Ooh. well uh, so stay with us everybody by the way we live on facebook live so you can view us live on facebook live but we're taking a short break we'll be back carol ofori east coast radio it is case ends number one hit music station it's daytime queen carol ofori I'm here with you all the way until 12 this afternoon and it's our final Woman Crush Wednesday for 2023 and what a way to go out, right? We got Jackie Cameron in the house from Jackie Cameron School of Food and Wine uh, and we've been chatting about her journey into food and uh, we've I've, I've uncovered quite a few remarkable things. Um, one thing we need to talk about, Jackie, is your school. Uh, we were talking off air about the amazing students that you seem to have just... Um, Caught, they've caught your eye from across the continent, from across the world. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your students and your intakes. Oh, it's just we've had students from coming to my school from London, from Botswana. We've got students from Tanzania next year, Malawi. Um, it seems to have like the, the reach has gone into Africa now. Right. It's very exciting. Yeah. Um, I never tell the students that they're great until graduation, but I, I do have a great <laughs> bunch of students coming next year and I'm very excited to meet all the well, the rest of the students that are still to enroll right. over the next few weeks. But students have, we offer 100% job placement after graduation, which in, in itself, I don't know if anyone else does that. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, so basically <laughs> I come to school and I'm guaranteed a job. Yes, that is it. I can't if you fin- Yeah, finishing the course, we've got an 18-month course, we've got a three-year course. But, you know, if I reflect back on, on all the years, yeah. I've had students that... 
you know, um, my first batch of students graduated in 2017. Yeah. And we cooked at the, we always cook, my school cooks at the Eat Out. It's kind of the, the Grammys, the Oscars of food, of food yes. in, in the, the country. Eat Out Awards. The Eat Out Awards, yeah. Yes. And so it's for 800 people. We always do the canapes. My, one of my student, first students, Carla, who graduated my first batch of students. Yeah. Now, keeping in mind, she only graduated in 2017. She did the main course wow. at the Eat Out Awards this year. And she just nailed it. <laughs> Perfectly in, in Carla's words. <laughs> really, wow. really. It was just phenomenal. You know, I've got um, Sherry, who the Le Colombe group is um she is the the production manager the the kind of um creating the creating dynamics for all the lecolom group right i've got michelle on super yachts traveling the world wow. I've, you know if we if we're keeping to all females here because right. you know <laughs> not mentioning any other guys um but it is it is you know they're all dotted around the world and they're and they're, and they're making their own money and they have oh courtney that's just around the corner dogal um i cannot come to durban without buying all her pastries you oh, know wow. and so i think it was two months after she finished my course she opened her own business oh my so there's, gosh. it's not just about chefing i say it's a mentoring course mm. it is um you know, if you can two months after doing the the eighteen month course, open your own bu- business, and she has just done so phenomenally well um, that she's got her new, her new place and bigger restaurant, and um, you know, it's just all of them. Uh, oh, Sarah, Sarah, I've got her. I don't know how much time we got, but Sarah. So she was a dietitian. She came and did my course. She yeah. was then the head chef at Brookdale. Wow! And then just before last year, it was my my. I'm giving telling you my age. My it was my fortieth. Yeah. And um, I got a phone call from Tom Cruise. Tom and Cruise. Tom Cruise, because he wanted wow. me, <laughs> he wanted me to cook for him that weekend. He was he was a combat. Yeah, there we go. Yes. He was there, and it, I had people flying in for my fortieth. I couldn't do it, so I put forward one of my past students, Sarah, to to do to that cook for to Tom cook, Cruise. Yes. Um, and she did it so much better than me because he's got so many dietary requirements. So yeah, on that, you have to tell me like what. <laughs> I'll leave that <laughs> interview interview Sarah one day. <laughs> but but you know he has you know um, so many. He's got to be be kept extremely fit. He's right. got his role and he's yeah. So I just feel that she did that so much better than I could have done wow. because she's a, a, a qualified dietitian and a chef. So it just ticked all the boxes. So the, the you know, the, the students, and like I say, I'm just mentioning the females because we, we're doing females. Yeah, today. but you, the guys are doing phenomenally well as you well. You can name a few guys. Let's <laughs> yeah, see how no, the guys are doing. So like Georg is on super yachts, traveling wow. around the world, cooking for, you know, um, yeah, it's just it's just phenomenal. Yeah. Um, they've got their own businesses as well. They, um, you know, the guys, the, I think the guys are doing more more of the traveling internationally um, right. traveling around um, I've got um, on game farms and Pinder I've got um, uh, Braden that's uh, doing phenomenally well cooking on more of the, the outdoor cooking um, and going on to the game farms they really are dotted and yeah treat each individual student as individuals so mm. it, it really is about where they want to go, what yeah. they want to do, what they want to do with their journey. Um, Clifford is local. He's got his own catering company and he's just getting more and more business and just growing and, you know, traveling around cooking for so, so all different families and local. So they really are, you know, it, it's not you don't have to be working in an 18, 16, 18 hour day. In a, in a kitchen you can yeah. be doing you know I say for the different stages of your life often people think that is just what a chef is and it's not you know you can be you can have your own catering company you can decide when you're wanting to work you can mm. you, we do cake icing you can do beautiful weddings and cake, cakes you can go into food styling food photography there really is a world on a its own a world on its own and or for all the different stages of your life so yeah. the, the money that you or your parents spend to come on the course is really you know it's been voted my course has been voted the greatest value course for all that you get and you get a job I'm just <laughs> then, here for the job <laughs> I love that so if I'm listening now and I'm mm. a young person I'm like, or I'm just a person who's like I want to do a Jackie Cameron uh, course yes. how do I get in touch with you and I like that you said that because I've had students from 17 years old to 55. So you are never, and I'm actually in conversations with a, a gentleman just over 70 years old. So you're never too old. Mm. So get in touch with me at this time of the year. Get directly in contact with me. It's My email is Jackie, J-A-C-K-I-E, at JackieCameron.co.za. Send me an email and I'll send you registration documents. We've got a lot to do before the, the 21st, 22nd of Jan. That's right. when we start. 
I love it. And lastly, your words of encouragement to people listening as we wrap up 2023, going into 2024 and chasing dreams. I think you, to chase dreams, you just got to put your head down and you got to focus and you got to work and you got to go into work every day knowing what you're wanting to achieve. Um, if you don't have a reason, if you don't have a being, you, you've got to have a purpose. Mm. Why are you going into work um, and make it happen? Vocalize it, speak about it, um, and put your mind to it, and make it make it happen. Make it happen, Jackie Cameron. Everybody, thank you so much for being thank in you. studio. Jackie Cameron. is where you'll find her as well on social media. Jackie Cameron, and as you heard, Jackie at Jackie Cameron. Uh, to get your applications in. I'm still stuck on Tom Cruise. Like, okay, <laughs> all right, girl. All right, and I'm sure there's many more celebrities you've cooked for in your life. Uh, but we'll chat. Thank you so much, Jackie. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Carol O'Foury, weekdays 9am till 12, East Coast Radio.